Welcome to Kim Lid Channel. I bet you didn't know about this hidden gem in the Tunisian desert. The Tunisian sun beats down on a vast, silent arena. This is El Gem, a place where time seems to stand still. Towering above the humble town is a monument to a bygone era, the amphitheater of El Gem. This colossal structure, crafted from golden stone, is a breathtaking reminder of the Roman Empire's reach and grandeur. For centuries, it has stood sentinel over the North African plains, a silent witness to the ebb and flow of history. The amphitheater is remarkably well-preserved. Its massive, honey-colored stones, baked by the sun, seem to whisper tales of a glorious past. Visions of roaring crowds, gladiatorial combat, and the thrill of the chase linger in the air. This is a place where history is tangible, where you can almost hear the echoes of the past. The amphitheater of El Gem was not built in a day. Its construction, begun around 238 AD, was a monumental undertaking, a testament to the ambition of Roman architects and the skill of their North African laborers. The Roman Empire at its zenith sought to project its power and influence across its vast territories. What better way than to erect enduring symbols of Roman culture, even in the distant provinces? What's truly remarkable is that the amphitheater was built without a deep foundation. Instead, the Romans relied on a carefully designed system of arches and vaults to distribute the weight of the massive structure. This feat of engineering, a testament to Roman ingenuity, has allowed the amphitheater to withstand the test of time, surviving centuries of neglect and the relentless North African climate. The amphitheater of El Gem was not merely a provincial imitation of its more famous counterpart in Rome. While its design was undoubtedly inspired by the Colosseum, it possessed unique features that set it apart. Its elliptical shape, a hallmark of Roman amphitheater design, provided optimal viewing angles for the tens of thousands of spectators who flocked to its games. With a capacity of 35,000, the amphitheater of El Gem was the third largest in the Roman Empire, surpassed only by the Colosseum in Rome and the ruined amphitheater of Capua. Its sheer scale is awe-inspiring, a testament to the importance of spectacle in Roman society. It's not difficult to imagine the electric atmosphere within the arena, the roar of the crowd, the anticipation, the thrill of the games. The amphitheater of El Gem was more than just an architectural marvel. It was a stage for grand spectacles, a place where the Roman thirst for entertainment reached its zenith. Gladiatorial contests, brutal yet captivating displays of skill and courage were the main attraction. Armed with swords, nets, and tridents, we battled each other, or wild animals, to the delight of the roaring crowd. The preparation for these games was intense, with gladiators training rigorously to perfect their skills. Victorious gladiators were celebrated, their names echoing through history as symbols of strength and bravery. The amphitheater roared with the cheers of spectators as the games unfolded in a spectacle of blood and sand. The amphitheater of El Gem is a marvel of architectural brilliance, showcasing the artistry and precision of Roman engineering. Beneath the arena floor lies a complex network of tunnels, chambers, and passageways. These subterranean corridors, known as the Hypogeum, housed gladiators, animals, and stage props. They also facilitated the smooth flow of traffic, allowing for the efficient entrance and exit of performers and perhaps the removal of the deceased. The amphitheater's design incorporated sophisticated systems for drainage and ventilation. Channels beneath the seating areas carried away rainwater, while carefully placed openings in the walls allowed for air circulation keeping the arena cool even during the scorching African summers. The decline of the Roman Empire in the 5th century AD marked the beginning of a slow decline for the amphitheater of El Gem. With the arrival of the Vandals and later the Arabs, the once grand arena was largely abandoned. It served various purposes throughout the centuries, a fortress for Berber rebels, 
a refuge for local populations, even a source of building materials. However, the amphitheater's sturdy construction ensured its survival. In the 20th century, recognition of its historical significance led to concerted restoration efforts. Damaged sections were repaired and the structure was stabilized, ensuring its preservation for future generations. Today, the amphitheater of El Gem stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to the enduring legacy of the Roman Empire and a source of pride for the Tunisian people. It is a magnet for tourists from around the globe who come to marvel at its grandeur, to soak up its history, and to imagine the spectacles that once unfolded within its walls. The amphitheater of El Gem is more than just ruins. It is a testament to human ingenuity, a symbol of cultural exchange, and a reminder of the power of the past to inspire and awe. Its survival, against all odds, is a cause for celebration, a reminder that even in the face of time's relentless march, beauty and grandeur can endure. If you enjoyed this journey through history, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating historical content. Your support fuels our mission to explore the past, embrace the present, and envision the future. Thank you. Until next time. Thank you.